I want to battle you, dog. I don't want to battle you, Jack. Like, I, you know what I mean? I, I won't even. <laughs> what, I won't you think even, I ain't worthy or something? I won't even get up for that. Like, that matchup wouldn't even be, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I could surprise the shit out of you. I got some bars for you, dog. Yo, man. Let me give you my bars, V. Hey, you got to stand up for this, man. We, <laughs> you got to stand up for these bars. I hated to have to do this shit to you, dog. <laughs> yeah, I hated it. I've been waiting on this all my life. You ready, B? Against Jack, your luck didn't run out. Even against luck, you were the winner. You lucky he gave your coat back, so now you got something to wear in the winter. Oh. <laughs> Mook, I don't play. The only person that's rocking the do rag with no waves. Oh. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. You ready? All right. Since your first battle, you've been killing this shit. That's straight facts. But on the real, what the fuck you gonna do when Jay Mills bring his ass back? Mm. And that's real rap. Oh. Hey. Mm. <laughs> Yo, what's going on? It's your boy Murder Mook, the easy man, checking out this is 50.com. You heard? Easy. Man, I just killed you. Never. The fuck out of here. <laughs> hey, look, the flow been sick. Way before the time K Dot was Kendrick. Way before the time Kanye had Big Sean. Way before niggas ever heard all of these other niggas word to Big John. Now first off, I, I owe you a big apology. Okay, I accepted it. Yeah. I accepted it when you first when we first spoke though. You know? Yeah, 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 man. <laughs> I was gonna get the tattoo and everything. Yeah, yeah. Nah, that, that, that was that was a little too far. You ain't man, man, I appreciate you for letting me off the hook like that. I don't really hold too much grudges, like you know what I'm saying, like. It, it, especially when it ain't really serious, you know what I'm mm. saying? It was just, it was an opinion, you know mm. what I'm saying? So whether it be it wrong, right, however, it's your opinion, you know what I'm saying? So part of that was for you, though. Part of that, like, whole why I went that hard, though, on, on that battle and all that, that mm. was, that was like, for you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Jack had the... Yeah. That, so hold on, time out. Yeah. So I had, I put a little gas on you that? put a lot of gas on that. Dude, this nigga really, like, yo, he feels this way, like... Oh nah, we got to change this. Like we have to, <laughs> we have to change this nigga's mind now. Yeah, hey, tell him what I was saying. Oh man, this <laughs> nigga's like, yo, move, move, yo, man, yo, you washed up, man, yo, man, this, yo, new kids on the block, man, yo, you know what I'm saying, yo, you ain't got it no more, you ain't hungry, man, you ain't hungry, man, you wasn't doing good in the battle, man. He was saying a whole lot of shit. Man. Yeah, I, I brought up the Iron Solomon shit. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yo, man, yo. Aaron Solomon wasn't good. It was yeah. like both of y'all lost on that shit. Yeah, that's that's exactly what you said. See, I was that's what I was just trying to explain to you on the phone that day. Like, yo, it was the way it was the way I had to beat him. Like, I had to win that way. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't bully somebody that don't want to fight. Like, you know what I'm mm. saying? Like, he's somebody. He don't like. He don't even advocate anything street. Mm. So if you start trying to bully a nigga like that, like you kind of look like you you the clown. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like. I'm a clown, like, so I'm I'm like, let me hit, hit him on an angle that nobody would even expect me to do. And mm. that's what I did. And you wasn't the only person that had that opinion, though. Really? Yeah, no, I mean, a lot of people felt like, they, they, a lot of people didn't like it. Like, so it was like a hit or miss with niggas. Like, some people loved it. They thought it was genius. And other people was like, yo, I ain't really like that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't really, because that's not who we expected to see. Mm. You know what I mean? And I knew it was kind of going to be like that because it was a new approach. It was, you know what I mean? So I'm just like, all right. But I beat him 5-0. Mm. You know, a lot of people can't say they have done that ever. Mm. I don't think nobody can say they've done that. Mm. You know what I mean? So I came what I had to do. But then the, this new one, I, I knew I could get a little bit more back into my original murder move. Mm. You know, hey, you know and it, what was crazy for me, I didn't understand why I looked, took the challenge with you. You know, even after that that particular battle and stuff, because I was like, yo, man, he, that shit was... I didn't call him out, he called me out. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I was minding my B.I. I was just, you know, I was just happening to be chilling, mm. minding my business, you know, maxing, relaxing, being all cool, playing with b-ball outside of the school. Right, right. You know, I checked my Twitter, mm. you know, I had, I just see, like, Lux say, yo, yo, you next and all that. Mm. So I'm just like, what the fuck? I'm like, huh? Like, where did this come from? But then it was like, all right, you know what I'm saying? Like, you gonna be the perfect, you gonna be the perfect nigga for me to get busy on. Like, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I I, I ain't take nothing away from him because I know the the caliber of, you know, artist he is, you know what I'm saying, on the battle rap shit. So I'm just like, you know, I made sure I put all my 
you know what I'm saying, put my all into that joint. Yeah, you did that too, though. Yeah. I mean, the, I mean, I thought it was going to be the opposite of the way it went. Yeah. yeah. Like, I thought it was going to be a three rounds straight up luck. People, th- people thought that too, but a lot of people tend to do is, they tend to like, Judge somebody off like the last shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I said that shit to you too. I was like, man, you only funky as your yeah, last battle. Yeah, but, yeah. And that wasn't that funky, but man. But that's exactly how it is. Like right. with, with a lot of shit, like you only as good as your last one. Based off our last battle, people feel like, yo, I wasn't, I wouldn't have been able to, to you know, to beat him that way. But what niggas don't realize, or and what they should, is that every time I battle somebody, I switch up every time. So I battle, I don't have one particular style. I got a core, and my core is like, yo, I like to dig deep. I'm not a nigga that's just gonna scratch the surface. Like if I see a flaw or something, I'm gonna hit it, but I'm gonna dig and pull it out. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. A lot of people, they might hit something, but they don't go far. Like they hit it, then they go to another point. Then they go to another point. I'm gonna hit that shit and and make sure I'm putting a fucking screwdriver in you to make sure. So that's exactly what it was. With with Lux, you know, he, he, you know, he could rap very well. Very well. You know what I'm saying? Very exceptional. Yeah, exactly. You ain't have no jitters though, I, man. You was yeah. you got in front of that crowd and you no, did what you nervous. had to do. I'm, I'm nervous but before every battle though. You know what I'm saying? Like before every battle, every show I do, every like I, you always get that. If you don't get that shit, then something wrong. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like you should always have a little bit of edge on you. You know what I'm saying? I was really nervous though. You know what I'm saying? Like mm. this crowd was the biggest crowd that we ever been like prior. When I did Summer Madness, that was the biggest crowd that Battle Rap had, period. Mm. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But then we in the Hammerstein Ballroom now, so we... 5,000 Yeah, seats, so man. we in fucking three rows of shit, like niggas <laughs> yeah. around. What the and I'm fuck? Looking, and and the, the stage is intimidating. Mm. Like, see, even on the camera, but, but when you there, and you see that shit is elevated, and you see that all the lights right there on the stage, and it's around. And everybody is look like everybody is looking at you like that's even intimidating. So I was nervous, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, yo, once you hit that first ooh from the crowd, it's like, yo, you like, yo, I'm home, I'm back, you know. And that's what it was. Like the first maybe couple bars, I was nervous, you know, I set them. And then when I got to that motherfucking sick of hand, you're mumbling, we in a situation perpetuated and delegated by the mothership and all that other shit. And the crowd like, yo. <laughs> It was over. Like it was. I knew it. Was, I knew I was about to be on fire. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You you really took off the gloves on this one, man. You know the the part where you come in, the Buster Rhyme <laughs> part was crazy. Yo, can you break it down? Can you talk about that? Or I mean, I'm not. I'm not going. I ain't even going to talk about that, man. Like you know what I'm saying? That's that's water under the bridge, man. You know what I'm saying? I my my intent for that, you know, it wasn't a malicious intent. It was just to win. You know what I'm saying? Like I want a nigga to say, I will pay one thousand dollars out my pocket. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Right. So if this this is the shit he gonna be bringing. I will pay a thousand dollars to see him battle again. Right. And and you know that just had to happen. Like and it just so see it was just so funny because because <laughs> in the shit right like Buster wasn't there for the first two rounds. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I knew I had that. You know uh-huh. what I'm saying? But Bust ain't no he like we never spoke about this about what I had or anything previously. Mm. So this was all gonna be a surprise to him. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like damn. Cause I was banking on him being there right. in the beginning. I'm right. like, yo, Buster's gonna be here. That's gonna make it more crazy. But then when I see him, I'm I start thinking like, damn, maybe it might not be as crazy because he's not here. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So as Lux is rapping the third round, you see, I, and I'm facing Lux and the, and they behind me. So I hear Lux like, and you know Bust, da da da, and I'm like. And I see bust. I'm like, and I, you can see it. Like I do a little smirk. I'm like, <laughs> like, like if you don't even know what I'm about to do, and now that he here, it's crazy. Right. You know what I'm saying? So in that third round, I just had to use it because he was there. Like the moment was magical. I would rather have used it and say I shouldn't use it, or not used it mm. and be like, damn, I should have used that shit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So have you talked to him or uh, t- talked to uh, Loaded Luck since then? Yeah. Well, I mean, we haven't really gotten to an in-depth discussion about the events that take place took place. I don't think we ever will, like, you know what I'm saying? Mm. I don't say ever. I won't say ever, but I don't see it any anytime soon. It was a battle at the end of the day. It's no hard feelings at all. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like we put on for battle rap, you know what I'm saying? We put on for Harlem and you know that was it. He took out the jacket. Mm-hmm. Tell me about this jacket, man. For those who don't didn't understand Nobody understood it though. Like the 
I understood what he was trying to do, but like to the people, they were just like confused. Like, I don't know, 10, 11 years ago, we got into some shit like uptown by, like around where Lux live at. You know what I'm saying? We got into a fight. You fucked Lux. No, 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 no. I ain't fight Lux. Like, okay. anybody tell you, like, in Harlem, like, I, you know what I'm saying? I was in nigga, like, I was in the street. Like, I was niggas done jump niggas, got their ass whipped, shot at niggas, did whatever we had to do. Like, that was what we was doing, young niggas. I'm, I'm on smack, so I'm, but I'm not really knowing, like, I'm famous. I'm still. A nigga in the sh I'm still one of y'all niggas. You know what I'm saying? So we up we uptown and we, you know, we in a, a territory where it's a bunch of these niggas. You know what I'm saying? So they had niggas outnumbered. So, you know, of course niggas got into a little tension. It was like the winter time. So I had a coat on. So when niggas, you know, when I seen like niggas wanted to get busy, you feel me? I took my jacket off, like as any nigga would. So I took my jacket off and I threw the jacket on the ground. And after after the altercation, I don't see the jacket no more. And I'm just like, oh, all right, niggas, you know what I'm saying? Niggas stole my jacket like that was some bum nigga shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, you already hype. You know what I'm saying? Niggas got us that day. <laughs> For real. You know what I mean? So niggas don't be admitting to no ass women. Nah, man. Nigga, man, they got us, man. They got us, man. <laughs> it, was, it was like seven, eight of us, nigga. It was a bunch of them niggas, man. They got us. They got us. But but then I, I start hearing like, yo, yo, be niggas saying they robbed you. Like they robbed me. And I'm like, huh? Like, robbed me? Like niggas saying they niggas like, nah, they, they niggas saying they took your coat. Like they, they came and got you and took your shit up off you. And I'm just like, all right, my nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we where? You know what I'm saying? Where niggas saying that? But you know, and then I never heard from it again. Like, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? I don't know where the coat was. And that's where he was going with it. But the problem was, it was 10, 11 years ago. You feel me? Like, so much other shit done happened in that time where th that wasn't even really relevant no more. Like, it was awkward to the niggas looking because they like, yo, what is he, what is he saying? What are you thinking when he does that? I go over to my man like, yo, throw me some keys. Oh, this, this the angle he gonna try to play like he gonna try to so just in case he this shit work i'm gonna block it i'm gonna get the keys boom 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 so that was straight improv right yeah there. yeah i mean it okay. wasn't really keys in the jacket right. it just looked so goddamn good like everybody keep asking me like yo was it keys in the jacket yeah you know what i'm saying was it any keys in the coat and i'm like nah it wasn't no keys in the coat have you ever lost a battle before so we out here, 24-7 on the grind We out here, always got that money on our mind We out here, 24-7 on the grind We out here, always got that money on our mind Preach!